In a previous video, we looked at a new study where researchers decided to measure the amount of magnesium, phosphorus, zinc and selenium across many different plant-based milks. They analysed the contents of two to three brands of eight different types of plant-based milk. These were almond, cashew, coconut, hemp, oat, pea, rice and soy-based beverages for a total of 85 samples available in the US. And there was a surprising winner. If you missed that video, you can click the link above. However, in a recent video, I heard which plant milk Dr. Michael Greger of NutritionFacts.org uses at home and recommends. And in this clip, he shares the reasons why. Soy is protective in terms of, you know, epidemiological studies showing between 30 and 50 percent lower risk of breast cancer in women that eat soy, particularly starting in their teens. That's where you get the 50 percent numbers. But it's never too late to start eating healthy. So that's actually one of the reasons that that is my preferred milk is soy milk, unsweetened soy milk. Out of all the options now, there's all sorts of crazy milks out there, but we want to get those isoflavones in and which are essentially uh, relatively unique to um, soybeans, not even found in other beans to, to the same extent. And so we're going to miss out um, if we don't uh, include soy. Now, of course, the healthiest um, source of soy is whole soy food. So not soy milk, which is had most of the fiber removed, etc. Um, you can buy soybeans in a can. If you're going to eat soybeans in a can, try to get black soybeans in a can. Or eat edamame, uh, which is a fun snack. You eat them in pods. Kids love them. Or tempeh is a fantastic whole soy food. Plus, it has the benefit of the fungus mass that holds it together. That's the kind of mushroom kingdom. And so it actually has ergothionine um, in it. And if you're, there, if you're like, oh, I don't like mushrooms. Okay, eat tempeh because you're getting those those compounds and you're not finding them anywhere else. And also a leading source of spermidine. And you say, what is spermidine? You will find out in my book, How Not to Age, which will be out next year. Believe me, it's good stuff. Um, it's an autophagy activator. It helps your body kind of clean out its cellular garbage. And uh, tempeh is a great source, and so is wheat germ. Uh, one of the reasons now I mix wheat germ with uh, my ground flaxseed to sprinkle on foods throughout the day. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.